Today I'll be showing you how to make a paper crane. There are a couple different versions. There are ones that flap and ones that don't flap. Um, I like this one that does not flap because it sits nicely. Um, it sits nicely on tables and uh, the cat loves it as well. <laughs> Starting with a perfectly square sheet, turn it into a triangle, tip to tip. Nice, strong, straight lines. Good to reinforce them with your nails if you have them. And then into a smaller triangle, tip to tip. Again, really reinforce the fold so that it's nice and strong. And then turn it towards you so that the opening is facing towards you. And place your finger in the corner. And then press down, making a square or a diamond. And it helps if you go up and down the folds many times so that everything's really reinforced. Flip it over. Again, up. And make sure you get your finger in right into the corner so that you wind up making a perfect square. So I sometimes go back and forth with that piece. And pushing down into the corner and lining everything up as you go and reinforce the folds and now with the open side facing you still fold one half of it to the center And do the same thing then on the other side, one half to the center. It winds up being kind of a kite shape. Flip it over. One half to the center. One half to the center. nicely reinforced. So take the top and fold it over just to make a crease. A nice strong crease there will help. Unfold it, then unfold those two, and open it all the way up. But kind of keep your finger where you've made that hard crease as you fold it into kind of a longer kite shape. So you're going to be following the creases that you already made and that's the trick to making it nice and tidy. So when that's all happening, fold it down nice and flat and flip it over and do the same thing. So folding it down to make that crease nice and strong, opening up the flaps, opening up the big flap, keeping your hand at the crease or your finger if you can or if you need to and folding along the creases that you already made. Both sides, nice and even. And they will naturally appear a split on one half of it and no split on the other half. So the part with the split will wind up being the tail side and the head side. So we'll make that thinner by taking one half and folding it to the center and one half unfolding it to the center and flip it over one half to the center and one half to the center and those will be the tail and the head side so squish those to each other and squish those to each other those top ends will be the wings. So where there's an opening, fold it all the way up. And really make sure the crease is firm and all the way up on the other side. And then you'll fold it into itself. And now you have the wings, those nice broads. And then the narrower ones, just choose one end to make a little beak doesn't matter which end. And then very gently go into the wings and into the base of the torso and kind of rock back and forth as you open it very gently 
and that's what creates that nice kind of puffy bubbled top that makes it more three-dimensional and nice and there you go and we'll do it once more from the front if that's easier to follow starting again perfectly square corner to corner make a triangle avoid the cat Nice strong crease. Long end to long end is coming up next, making a smaller triangle. Strong creases. Looking for the opening. Finger to the corner. Squash down to make a square or a diamond. Flip it over. Fold back on itself for a better crease. Finger to the corner again. Press it down, aligning it up with the first one. Perfect diamond. Have the opening obvious to you, and from the bottom of the opening, take one half of the corner, fold it to the center, exactly along the seam. And then you'll do that three more times. So on the other side, the main part here is to be aware of where the opening is. If you do it from the other side, it won't work. One side done, flip it over, do it again. Now fold the top onto itself and open and open. If you need to recrease that top part, it can help. So it looks a bit like a frog mouth or something, and now you're making it more like a kite. So you're pressing it down against its own seams, but just in an open way. Lining it up, pressing it down. Flip it over. Do that same crease with that middle small triangle and unfold and unfold and again open and this part here these two sections are the hardest if you get them down it's easy so again you just fold it down along the lines that have already been created and gently press it down along the creases that are already there one half of it won't be split, the other half will be split like little legs. And then you open it, it onto itself. itself. And from the split side, fold it half of it into the center. Important that you do it on the split end. And then fold again half of it to the center. Flip it over, do it again. and one more time and this creates the narrowness that it will make it more elegant for the tail and the head and now fold it back in on itself and now to, from the split fold it all the way up to the top and on the other side, all the way up. So all of the points should be able to meet and really make the crease strong. And then fold it in on itself.
and choose which end you're going to make the little beak. And just do a small little crease to make a beak however long or short you want to make it. And then when you open it up, doing very gently, rocking back and forth the wings, doing a gentle pressing down of the center if that helps. And there you go, all done. And have fun.